Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Level 8 Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 76. Inside this video, we will continue model events and we will see how can we handle model events using Level Observer. And this is the fourth ma method to handle model events. So if I back to editor, now first of all go inside this models folder. In the last videos, we had completely discussed all about events and listeners. Now if you go inside this device.php because this is the model actually what we are considering as an example from last four videos. Now so inside this device file first of all I will remove this protected variable because inside this we have registered the concept of event but this time instead of using events we will use the concept of Laravel Observer. So we can create Laravel Observer by the help of artisan command. So we have removed. Now we have neat and clean device.php. Now at the end of this video, we are trying to do how can we handle model events like creating, created, updating, updated by using Laravel Observer concept. So first of all, we need to create an observer. Back to terminal. Close this development server php artisan pressing enter and inside this make command list here we have called make observer this command is going to create create a new observer class so if i copy this command let's open all about the help manual first so php artisan type help and this is the command name now if i press enter now while running this command we need to pass a name that would be the name of the class as an argument and inside these options as we can see that we can pass a model we can pass a model name while creating any observer it's an option so let's say that we are going to create an observer for our device model so if i clear this terminal let's type the command called php artisan make observer and we will create let's say device observer and we will pass the model name with minus minus model as a flag equals to and the model name we have called device so when I press enter observer created successfully now if you go inside this editor right now inside this app directory we don't have means we don't have any folders with the observer name now when we are go go and reload this directory structure now inside this app folder we should see a folder called observers now inside this observers folder this is the first observer what we have created and inside this observer file here is the default skeleton what it has picked from stub and inside this device observe class we have a created method updated deleted restored and force deleted these methods are nothing these are model events as we know we have the model event as creating created updating updated so it has picked one method from each model event like we don't have creating here but we have created we don't have here like updating but we have updated same we don't have any deleting but we have deleted and all other methods so this is all about the model event called created. Now if we want to also add our creating event simply copy this method pasting it here and let's change name from creating means created to creating. So after creating this device observer class next we need to register inside app service provider. So what I will do go inside this app directory providers folder and inside this providers folder here we have called app service provider go inside this boot method and we need to register this device observer for our device model so first of all we need to import our device model here so device here we have imported our device model go inside this boot method we are going to register our observer with the device model so device scope resolution operator and here we have a method called observe 
and inside this we need to pass our the observer class what we had attached with this device model so as we know that we have created device observer and it's a class so this is the class is going to handle all the model events of this device model so before using this device observer or device model we need to import at the top and successfully we had done that this is all about importing model and this is all about importing our observer now these are the two simplest steps what we have to do to actually track our model events status now this time when any of the event fired like creating created updating updated so each respective associated method of this device observer class automatically gets fired because inside this app service provider we have registered this observer class with this device model so after doing all these things back to our device observer go inside this creating method so this event means this method will be fired when model event creating will be triggered now inside this as we can see that we have a device instance and it contains the value what value actually we are trying to create by the help of model so we will use the same concept to logging a file so first of all we need to import our log module go inside this creating method and simply let's say log we will use the info method and inside this let's say creating observer method is firing and also we are going to concatenate with this device value also what I will do if I simply copy let's copy the whole message go inside this created method pasting it here and this is all about created observer method is firing now let's do some for updated so this is updated method and this method will be fired when model event updated will be called so go here pasting it here let's say updated observer method is firing now when we go and change this deleted method let's say deleted when we save all these changes let's start our development server so php artisan serve go to browser and we are continuing with the same example we have the current method so first of all if we go here let's open all about our logger file go inside storage logs label.log now what I will do if I remove all these messages so right now inside this file we don't have any content now when we do any operation with this device model like create update and delete so each respective method will be fired from this device or observer and log will be logged inside this liable.log file so go here let's do for this add operation first so this is device let's say 1000 it's a dummy name click on submit device has been created it means the create method has fired two model events called creating and created so if i back to editor go inside this logo file and as we can see that creating observer method is firing created observer method is firing so these two events we have tracked inside this logo file now same if you go inside this list let's say that we are going to delete this android updated value click on delete ok device has been deleted back here and as we can see that deleted method also logged inside this file and the value we has we have deleted is all about android updated value now let's update any row inside here so this is device 110 we will make let's say device 250 when we click on submit device updated go inside logger file and as we can see that updated observer method is firing and we have updated our data from device 1102 to device 250 so successfully guys by the help of model events we have seen the lots of concept that is how can we handle model events using model concept using events 
using event with listeners as well as we had seen inside this video using observer so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day